One thing that was surprising to l, &L products uh, is that even though for years now we've implemented lots of robotics and highly automated systems throughout our global manufacturing footprint, um, that when we use industry 4.0 tools, tools like big data and analytics, and we use that data to drive our decision making, uh, we get a very accurate picture of how we can continuously improve. Uh, it can be surprising at times that often those little interruptions to the process uh, turn out to be the largest areas of downtime. And when we focus on and eliminate those areas, uh, we've been able to take our overall equipment effectiveness from honestly below 75% to confidently well over 90%. comes down to industry 4.0, we we're very confident in some areas like big data analytics, uh, system integration, advanced robotics. We felt good in those areas, but Macomb County's industry 4.0, Macomb Next, gave us an opportunity to figure out you know, what else is out there, what are some of the things we're not thinking of. And so getting involved allowed us to understand that and really uh, learn what's out there network with other businesses, hear about their best practices, and be a good citizen in our communities and share our best practices as well. One of the hurdles that we had utilizing this new technology is training our technical personnel at the use of these systems. Uh, training takes time and really takes time to become proficient and impactful using this technology, but you need to make sure to take that time so people can actually go forth and, and make an impact with it. By taking the implementation of Industry 4.0 standards one step at a time, we're able to overcome the challenges that we face. So the impact of accurate and precise data has made a significant impact here at l, &L Romeo. This allowed us the opportunity to refine our business needs, improve our throughput, and also target and improvement activities. Implementing new technologies is not new to l, l products. It's part of who we are, part of our DNA, is being a creative and innovative company. When considering launching a new technology, you need to consider the scope of the project, that you have a solid plan for implementation. Also that you're considering the risk, is including the unintended risk of the project, and then long-term be flexible when implementing the new project or technology. So I would say the biggest um, way that it's impacted the need for talent is in our technical roles. Um, we have roles like uh, twin support, setup positions, um, machine repair, mold maintenance, those types of roles. It's really important that um, those candidates and new employees have an engineering mindset. We want to make sure that they understand electrical and controls, systems, inputs and outputs. You know, they need to have the ability to hook up a laptop to the machine and understand the data that's coming out of it. Utilizing an ERP system has really been the key for us. And it's important that we have um, employees who know how, how those transactions move through the system. We try to be ahead of the game. We're trying to establish partnerships with local community colleges, vocational schools, local high schools, show them options for their future. Here at l, &L we've implemented a few Industry 4.0 technologies. The main benefits, or the first one, was that we would we previously thought that we had very high OEE, above 85%, when in reality the new tools told us that we only were in the low 70s. Since implementing this, we've been able to use those tools and raise the OEE we have here to the low 90s. So it's been a great benefit to us. So some of those benefits are we've become more efficient, We've lowered our cost structure, won more business, and we've been able to purchase less capital to be able to produce that new business. I would develop some early adopters. They're the ones who are gonna use the data and use the system first. 
Um, others will see that, it'll catch on. The most important is to invest in the training of people so that everyone understands how to use the data. Um, machines like this will produce a lot of data. It may not look like you expect. Um, it might not support what you think was going on in the plant. So uh, the better you have everybody trained, uh, the better they're re ready to process the data.